Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom, and this is the second video for, for release day. Um, I'm going to be putting together all of the gnome dies for you. This just took a little bit longer than what I expected, so I couldn't add it to my release and review. So first, you wanna start out with your silhouette, and then you're going to add on the dress first, I find. Then I like to slip the little face in. Um, at, I put the hair on first for this one, but in later videos, you'll see that I, I do it another way. Um, I would say first, it might be a good idea to start with the dress, then apply that pointy hat, but only put glue about three quarters of an inch down, and then you can sort of slide the face underneath and the hair. I, that would work better. Um, but you know, this was the first time me putting this little gnome together. Now the little dress there was made out of gingham linen, uh, rainbow petite prints, but the 12 inch paper line from Doodlebug. I used evergreen bow um, just along the edges. The skin tones are all from P13 stamp and pad skin tones. So there's that. Now here's my second one. So this is all the girl gnome dye um, set. These are like the different hairdos. Um, now, it, the last little clip of the video that I put together, I do show you how to add the hair um, the way that they're meant to be added. Um, I kind of did a little bit different, um, just, you know, for a different look, because you can you can put this hair on any way you'd like. But, you know, I did show you what, what it was intended uh, to look like um, on my last clip, just like the three different ways the hair looks. But you could slide the hair up under the hat and make it as short as you want. So, and that's what I did. There we go. So that is pink um, bubblegum, or no, cupcake dock stripe from Doodlebug. And I used um, Victorian velvet just around the edge, distress ink. And like, you know, the, the hair is always um, American Crafts cardstock, usually um, one of the browns. And there we go. So I'm just quickly adding the little nose using the same skin tone pad. But like I said, all of the, everything that I use is always listed on my blog. So whatever gnome, that, gnome um, you know, picture that you're seeing me put together, um, if I used it on a project, it'll all be listed under that project. So, you know, you'll be able to find out exactly what I used. So that is white American Crafts cardstock. And that's for the little high, which is so cute, perfect little sentiment for any card or tag. I made um, a slimline card with two of them, and then I made a tag with the other one. It's just lots of fun. And then, like I said, little kids would love to put these together. They'd be, they'd just have a blast doing it. Isn't that cute? I just think that they're so sweet. Now I'm gonna pop up the little feet with Stampin' Up Dimensionals. Um, and I'm using the shoe version this time. I like to use the bare feet the most, but you know, this time I decided to give her shoes. And there you go. And then I will add the two tiny little bows that come in the set to her hair, because you know, come on, who wouldn't want little tiny bows on the pigtails? Adorable. Okay, so now I am using the um, girl gnome dyes and the, the gnome dyes spring add-ons. And I'm going to put together uh, the butterfly first. So same thing. I used black cardstock for my silhouette, put the little dress on first, added the face, the hair. Um, now the hat I can put together. There's like three pieces for the hat. There we go. I use seedless preserves as, uh, as distress ink around the edges of this hat. Um, that paper is... Lawn Fawn's, what's it called? Uh, Lawn Fawn's Perfectly Plaid Rainbow, the six inch pad. So that the hat and the dress came from that. So you see that I cut the top of that little gnome shadow off so I could fit the hat on. There's another way to do it, do it. And I show you that in a later, you know, later on in this video. But this was just learning, right? There we go. So I'm putting together the adorable butterfly. It's so sweet. I loved it. Adding the little nose. Then I add the little hair ties on her hair because, you know, why not, right? It's so fun. And 
there we're almost in business so what i did was is i cut the main wings out of cti glamour translucent which is basically vellum it's from cutcardstock.com and then i cut out the wing pieces from lawn fawn's watercolor wishes six inch pad just in a coordinating um watercolor that matched what was going on and i'm just going to add um the inside parts to the wings with my reverse tweezers and my art glitter glue just because it's in a really nice tiny tipped bottle there we go and i'll add those down to the bottom of the wings so you can make these wings any way you'd like you know i i made them with vellum you could make them with solid paper you could you know add a bunch of um you know whatever you know whatever floats your boat you can do with these guys isn't that sweet? She's just adorable with their pretty little wings. I love it. There we go. On the back, I did glue it with glue, but I do use a piece of washi on the back just to make sure it stays. Now I'm going to add the little antenna. Those are American Crafts black cardstock. And you know, I'm just popping them on her hat because why not, right? Now you could have used um, the wings with the pointy hat. You know, you could pull out all of the other uh, gnome dies that we have have add-ons. You can mix and match them to your heart's content. So cute. And then now I'm going to add the little flower to her hat. How cute is that? Just adorable. And then I'm going to have her holding the word mum. Now I use this um, to make a Mother's Day card for my mom. And um, it's just uh, adorable. But you could easily have a boy gnome holding the word mom, right? So it would be super fun. Or you could maybe flip it upside down and it could say, wow, right? There's no rules here. There we go. So the white is obviously um, American Crafts cardstock again. And there we go. And I'm going to pop his little ha her little hands up using my Stampin' Up! Dimensionals again, the little mini ones. You know, I find that's pretty handy. There we go. Now, like I said before, I am loving this whole release, but these gnomes were just so sweet. I really wanted to add this to the end of the release and review video, but I had to keep cutting and cutting, and then it got to the point where I was cutting out some of the gnomes. I couldn't show you all of them, and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to make a second video, and then that way you can choose which gnome you want to watch me put together, and Bob's your uncle. You know, you've got access to all of it. So there'll be one of these videos on my website, on my YouTube site, Leanne K, or on Jada Blossom's um, YouTube site too. I'm going to add the little, little feet. I always add those last. And there you go. Like, how cute is that? She is just adorable. I just love it. Just making sure I get off the little, don't want any of that foam tape sticking out. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to put together the Bumblebee one. So I'm, I'm putting together the hat. The hat is made out of cut cardstocks. Um, cut card, no, scrapbook.com has paper and it's the Boho Smooth. And I use Distress Ink in uh, Vintage Photo and inked around the edge. Now I am adding her little dress, right? That's always first. And that is cut out of Photoplay's Tula Norber Norbert's Sweet as Honey. And it makes it look like she's got a little bumblebee body, right? Isn't that cute? I just thought that's adorable. So you just can't go wrong with that. Now I'm going to cut off the top of her hat. Now you could have used the pointy hat for this. I chose to use this little sun hat. I'm going to add the little face on. There we go. Then I'm going to add the hair. Now remember the hair um, is meant to be a little bit longer and it lines up perfectly with the hat and it's long. But I gave her a little haircut by putting it up and under the hat. So this is totally up to you what you want your little gnome to look like. There we go, got the hat on. And then I'm going to pop on the little nose with some dimension, because that always makes it look cuter, right? A little bit of dimension. I'll add the little antennas. That's just American Crafts cardstock again. So putting these together does not take long. I will say that cutting out the pieces can take a while, especially if you're using you know, a whole bunch of different you know, card stocks and pattern papers, it, it can take a, a bit. Um, you know, you might want to use some sort of plastic divider tray to keep track of all your pieces while you're doing it so you don't lose any. Um, but it's really easy. Now, the wings were cut out of that CT, CTI Glamour Translucent Paper from CutCardStock.com again. And I'm just going to add a piece of washi on the back of that to hold the wings in place. 
because, you know, vellum's kind of is one of those tricky ones to glue, right? I kind of like to use um, double-sided adhesive versus glue with it, but, you know, what can I say? There you go. So cute. I'm going to add a uh, little hands-on. Now, for my card, I actually add a little heart using the Jada Blossoms banner dies. But remember, in our Valentine add-ons for the gnomes, there's, there's one that has a little heart, you know, a little... Um, hands holding a heart and you could have easily used that I just chose to use my banner dies because they were out so there he there's there's the bee so adorable okay so next I'm going to put together one of these little girls and she is holding a little mushroom this is actually for my son's girlfriend her birthday's coming up and I make a birthday card for her uh, with this so that piece of paper there that I started out with that is um, doodlebug's Oh, I think it's bubblegum dot stripe. And I used uh, picked raspberry distress ink around the edge. And then the hat is made out of the swimming pool gingham linen 12 inch. And I used um, the evergreen photo or evergreen bow around, you know, around the edge. There we go. Isn't that sweet? Look at her and, and her hair, that long, those long braids. Adorable. And I have them facing in. But you'll notice that really they can be that they meant they were meant to face to poke out kind of like Pippi Longst long stocking. So now I am popping on the little nose with some um, Stampin' Up Dimensionals again. We're going to add the little bows again. So cute! I love this little gnome. This one was one of my favorites. This, I think, this gnome and the butterfly were the two that I liked the most. They were just the sweetest. There we go. And we're just going to put her together. And um, like I said, I just wanted to show you all of these. Um, I did not have, um, I did not put all my gnomes together during all of the card making videos that I made. Um, I believe one of them I did, but you know, I just thought I'd make my videos a little bit shorter for you. And then I'd put all these together at the end on release and on, on the release day. It just makes things easier. There we go. Because if you want to watch it, you can just watch the whole video or fast forward or whatever. So now I'm putting together the mushroom. So the top is, you know, Doodlebug's fairy garden paper. And then the bottom is that boho chic scrapbook.com smooth cardstock pad again. How cute is that? So I like that Jada Blossom has the shadows to glue the little thing that you're holding. It just makes it a lot easier to put it together and have it all attached together with the hands. You know, and then that makes it easy to then go and pop it up if that's what you'd like to do. You don't have to. You know, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I prefer to pop it up, though, to be honest. I like a lot of dimension in my cards. Um, I just think that's what makes it look, your cards look, you know, fantastic when you're using dies, when you have a lot of dimension. Be aware, though, it will cost you in the mailing of those cards. But what can I say? You know, it is what it is, right? So there we go. So now I am just going to pop up this little mushroom with my foam tape, or not my foam tape, my Stampin' Up Dimensionals. And look, isn't she adorable? Oh, okay. Now this is the one I'm gonna show you what the hair, the different hair looks like. See, it lines up with the bottom of the hat perfectly. See, so now you've got a long hairdo. Okay, now next, we've got the pigtails. See, it lines up with the hair, or lines up with the hat perfectly. There we go. Now you got the pigtails. And then last but not least, you've got the braids like Pippi Longstocking. And look, isn't that sweet? Adorable. You can have the high. And then lastly, you can cut off the top of the hat and just add the little sun hat instead. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jaded Blossom blog. Get inspired at the Jada Blossom store. If you want these dyes, get them in your cart right away because they're going to sell out, I can tell you. They will uh, replenish those you know you can be sure of that just you know make sure you have it on um, you know mark it on your wish list so they know who wants it and that way they can order um, them quicker anyways that's all so thank you so much for watching my videos I really appreciate it and hopefully we will see you soon in my next one bye everyone